Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine, welcome. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. This is going to be a timeless message. It is a message for the collective and it is a reading for all signs. So all zodiac signs, you guys, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, and some Palo Santo, some positive vibes coming your way, you guys. Welcome, welcome to the channel, you guys. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Let me get my bracelets on here so I can get this energy channeled. Y'all... I am definitely getting some energy for, um, I feel like there is some hot and cold energy. It's like someone's been all over the place is what I'm getting, right? There could have been some ghosting going on here, right? So I definitely want to check into this person's energy, your person's energy. 111 was just on the timer. Um, I want to take a look at the energy surrounding this connection or this separation or no contact. So y'all, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Y'all, let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Wow, what's at the bottom of the deck? Hmm. I'm seeing that seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so there was some some type of dishonesty, something that was hidden here is what I'm getting. But I'm seeing an abundant new beginning, right? So we have the ace of pentacles and then we also have, oh, so we have the seven of cups, ace of pentacles, seven of cups. And then we also have the Two of Swords, right? There was some type of clouded judgment is what I'm getting. Someone is worried, right? And I'm picking up that someone is worried that the separation or no contact is permanent or final, right? They regret how they acted is what I'm getting, right? And I feel like there was some clouded judgment because you see here, right? This is someone that made a choice, but there's also limited information or some type of clouded judgment is the energy that I'm getting currently for this reading right now. And I'm seeing with choices here. So someone had clouded judgment. They made a poor choice, right? I'm seeing a new and abundant beginning, right? So there's someone, they're regretting their decision, right? This person is falling apart, I'm getting. After you walked away, Divine Feminine, you detach from this person is what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, what is going on here? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Because I'm seeing an abundant new beginning, right? I'm seeing... This could be spiritual abundance. Okay, so you guys came together fast is what I'm getting initially. There was a very, very strong attraction when this person and you initially came together, right? Um, I feel like it was a physical attraction, but it was something more, right? So I feel like you guys, you were attracted to each other from the superficial level so like you guys seeing each other was very very attracted to one another but then i feel like there was something more like a stronger attachment right a stronger connection yes yeah. spirit please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine because i'm seeing here there was conflict so it was like you guys came together. Things were really good. It was an abundant new beginning, right? So I'm talking about spiritual abundance. I'm talking about unconditional love, right? Like there was definitely a soul activation. 
that came with you guys coming together initially, right? You felt different about this person. This person felt different about you and you guys just went for it, right? And then there was a bunch of conflict, a bunch of chaos and conflict, right? Mm-hmm. And now this person is worried, regretting how they acted because this person, Divine Feminine, I feel like this person definitely acted out of character, right? Something about the way they reacted, it was like, who are you? It was like hot and cold energy off and on, ghosting. It was like out of nowhere, this person started acting out. This person was insecure, this person wanted to, oh, they wanted a long-term commitment with you, right? Oh, but there were some lessons to be learned because this person was very insecure. They've never been with someone like you, Divine Feminine. You shook them. They were shook being with you. You were beautiful. You were attractive. But your love was pure. It was genuine. There was no type of illusions with you, right? There was no manipulation. You weren't playing games. You were very different, right? This divine masculine thought you was a setup or something. Child. Yeah. They never been. They've never experienced divine feminine energy ever in their life is what I'm getting with this divine masculine, right? So when they came in contact with you and your love was pure, it was real. But I feel like this divine masculine was still attached to somebody or was playing in your face or something like that because there's something about their judgment was clouded. And I feel it was clouded because of insecurities, right? So this divine masculine kept a bunch of options they kept their options open while they were with you initially and they made the wrong choice because Divine Feminine is not in competition with nobody. So they blew it. They fumbled you. They tried to have you in competition with some pick me, some low vibrational energy is what I'm getting. This person is falling apart because they realized you were the prize. They fumbled the prize. Chow. What else we got here? What? Look at this. Tell me I wasn't tapped in here. This divine masculine is regretting. I just seen it. Look at the, oh my goodness, child. I just seen it. I seen that eight of cups. Like you walked away, right? This divine masculine is regretting this because you walked away. They self-sabotaged their manifestation. They manifested you in the past. You're everything they wanted, everything they ever needed. And they fumbled it. The universe granted them their wish. Their wish was granted from the universe with you, right? And they fumbled it with their insecurities, trying to play games, trying to get you to chase them, trying to put you in competition with somebody. Karmic third-party energy. And you're like, what? But see, I feel like this happened. I feel like this started to happen after like you guys came into contact, everything was good. And then all of a sudden this person started shifting, right? This person started getting hot and cold, ghosting, just like just acting totally different. Now they want a new beginning. I see that. But it's like they started acting. They were acting out, right? And I feel, I feel like Divine Feminine, you were like, what is wrong with you? Like, why are you acting this way? Like, why are you changing? Why are you switching up? <sighs> divine Feminine. That's when this Divine Masculine had fallen in love. And they felt like they were losing themselves. They were trying to deal with a bunch of emotions that they had never felt before with you. And they started acting out. They felt like they were losing themselves and afraid that you were going to abandon them. Because remember I said Divine Feminine, this Divine Masculine didn't really believe that you were real. They didn't believe that you were their Divine Counterpart. I feel like they have definitely manifested you. You are whom they asked for, right? 
But they thought you were an illusion. Mm-hmm. Now they're burden. Look. Now they're burden. Mm-hmm. What else we got, spirit? Burden wanting a second chance. Because now this divine masculine is in a karmic cycle. They realize by being in this karmic cycle, what they had with you, divine feminine, child, they look, phoenix rising, they're burdened, they want a second chance, they want to do this again, it's like now they get it, now they've awakened, look, hierophant energy, they've tapped into their spirituality, so now it's like they see, oh, you were their wish granted, you were who they asked the divine for and they fumbled it. They kept their options open. They had like all of these choices, but none of them compared to you, Divine Feminine, with this Seven of Cups. None of them compared to you. No. Oh, my dear. And now here's the one that they chose, this toxic one. Look, I'm seeing a mushroom, a toxic type of energy, right? So they ended up in this karmic cycle and then they learn from this, right? And I feel like it was short-lived. It's like this divine masculine realized it, right? And now they want to bring their cup of love back to you for this new beginning. Their judgment was clouded because they were insecure. They didn't think that they could have someone like you. And then when they were in union with you and experienced that unconditional love, that nurturing love that you have, that empathetic energy, loving on them like they've never been loved on before, this divine masculine lost it. They start acting out. They start acting hot and cold, trying to have you chase them trying to have you in competition with other people like other what pick me energies you're like wait we were good soul activation happened and this divine masculine lost and you know what this is what happens with twin flame connections right it's like people that have never felt this type of love before they end up it ends up triggering these wounds and this love that you showed them triggered these abandonment wounds. The last time that this person felt safe, they were abandoned. The last time that they felt this type of love, they were abandoned. So it tapped into those core wounds within this person and child, you tapped into those insecurities and this person started acting out. That's what's going on here. Now this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're, I feel like they're dreaming about you. There's something to do with the dream state here with this person. Or you could be picking up on them in your dreams. Uh-huh. Because this divine masculine, they're manifesting you. I feel like... They want to bring their cup of love back to you. I'm seeing baby steps with the page of cups. They want to take their time, right? This person realizes that they deeply wronged you, right? There was something to do with... This person realizes they caused deep wounds with you is what I'm getting, right? They really hurt you and they're regretting that. And it's like they're worried that this separation is final. Because see, this divine masculine is definitely used to back and forth, back and forth, break up, get back together, type of toxic cycles, right? That type of drama, that's what they're used to with these lower vibrational energies, right? But with you, you pull back your energy and you stood on it, right? You stood on business, right? They've never seen that before. But I feel like they've never seen the hurt that was in your eyes. And it was like, that's when they realized like, oh, Divine Feminine is for real. Divine Feminine really cares for me. Divine Feminine really loves me. When you were walking away, ciao. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, this person definitely, there was a lot of work to do. And that's why I'm seeing that Hierophant card too, lessons, right? But all of this conflict started once this person started falling, falling deep in love. 
confirmation. Spirit, thank you, King of Cups. This Divine Masculine is so in love with you. Ciao. And I feel like this Divine Masculine feels as though they, they're worried that they have ruined things forever. This separation is final, right? And it's like they're trying to, I feel like at one point they were at one point, because I'm definitely feeling like this Divine Masculine is currently in isolation. But I feel like at one point this Divine Masculine was trying to find someone to replace you. They thought that, or they were hoping that they could find that same connection and they couldn't. That was an awakening for them. Ciao that you were there happily ever after and they fumbled it. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups. Look. Oh, wow. Look at all of these cards back to back. Yup. Mm. Look. Wow. Let's just go ahead. Spirit said go ahead from the bottom of the deck. So that's what we're going to do. Let's look at these cards here. We got the Queen of Cups. That's your love. You're nurturing, healing, loving, overextending, right? You cared about how this Divine Masculine's day was going. How were they feeling? Did they eat today? How did they sleep? They've never experienced that type of love. Yeah. They've never experienced that type of love. I feel like the closest thing that they did experience with to that they ended up being abandoned and that love that you have that unconditional love chow that triggered that wound is what i'm getting right yeah so we got the, and then we have the queen of cups and the king of cups sitting here together hello so this is all about you guys the universe is definitely guiding you guys back together when you see that this is a divine love, divinely guided, in divine timing. Yes. Oh, happiness. Look at this celebration, abundance, having abundance together. This, this is what this divine masculine sees in you. The sun, your aura, your light shines so bright and you mirror their light. A light that they didn't even realize that they had. So it's like this divine masculine feels as though you are the missing piece to their soul. The missing piece to their, the, the tapestry, their blueprint, their divine blueprint. They realize that you are their divine counterpart. Because it's like this divine masculine feels like something is missing. They can't accomplish the things that they could accomplish when you were with them, right? Just your energy alone, just your light alone, chow, brings them abundance, right? There is an abundance when you guys are together. This is deep. Look, look what? Look, Leo energy. You're the only one that can tame this person? Wow. You're the only person that knows how to love on this divine masculine because you're a divine feminine, period, right? So we have Leo energy here. This divine masculine getting the courage, getting the strength to come back towards you, putting in the work that they needed to do behind the scenes. Look at this. Hangman, seeing things from a higher perspective, tapped into their higher level of consciousness, right? That's how they're able to see that you are their divine counterpart. You are the one that they are supposed to continue this mission of unconditional love in this lifetime, right? In this physical realm. Chow. They regret. They regret keeping the door open for these karmic third parties, right? Keeping these options open is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, they regret that. Capricorn energy on the board. I'm seeing a lot of manipulation, a lot of controlling energy, toxic behavior. And we picked up on that toxic behavior there with that seven of cups, right? This divine masculine has a lot of regret. But again, it's their clouded judgment, right? 
their vision was clouded with regards to this union because they didn't believe that you were real. And their insecurities, it was like ego, insecurity that had them keeping these options open. Child, look at this. They want to make, they want to break this no contact. Not only do they want to break this no contact, they're trying to pop up. I'm picking up, get prepared. Because that looks like an unexpected visitor coming towards you to talk to you. Look, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you to have this. Look, that y'all, the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. This Divine Masculine is deeply in love with you, but they acted like a complete fool. That's what I'm getting, y'all. They acted hot and cold off and on as soon as they fell in love. They had fallen in love with you and they lost it. Now this person is falling apart behind the scenes without you, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Whoa regretting how they behave they're embarrassed ashamed is what i'm getting where is the chariot card this divine masculine is getting ready to take a leap of faith to come back towards you and i'm definitely getting that queen of swords energy with you divine feminine that this divine masculine does realize that you are their wish fulfillment now they see you're their wish granted you're everything that they manifested so they were clear with their intentions when they were manifesting you. And I feel like this is, I was picking up something with the dream state, but also when this divine masculine would fantasize about who they would want to be with, the type of person they would want to be with. They were so precise with their intentions and what they truly wanted. Here you showed up. So this divine masculine was like, wait a minute. This can't be true because this is like everything that I've ever asked for, right? This is this can't be real. But it was because this divine masculine was so clear with their intentions when they were manifesting you, child. They've awakened now, emperor. There's no more hot and cold energy. There's no more off and on. There's no more ghosting. This divine masculine once forever is what I'm getting. Aries energy on the board. This is your emperor, your divine masculine. Also very stable, king of pentacles. Very stable energy, right? I'm, I'm picking up on a lot of abundance here. This could be a material abundance with this divine masculine. But this divine masculine is also spying and watching you. Look at this. They're worried that you're having a new beginning with someone else. Uh-huh. So there could be another masculine in your energy. Please take it how it resonates. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but this divine masculine is definitely concerned with somebody having a new beginning with you or there's someone else taking action to come towards you. This divine masculine does, they're very aware that... They're very aware of your worth. They know you're the empress. They knew you were the empress before. They just didn't feel like they were enough to maintain a union with you. They were very insecure. And how they acted was very, I feel like there was some pettiness there. There was also a lot of childishness there. Like I said, that off and on, hot and cold, there, the emotional maturity and the emotional intelligence was not present with this divine masculine. If they had it before, it went out the window once they felt those strong emotions for you. It's almost like, cause see, I'm seeing with this Leo energy, right? I feel like this divine masculine didn't feel like they could ever fall in love, right? And it's like once they came in contact with you, divine feminine, they were like, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? Yeah, it's your divine counterpart. There it is. I knew it would show back up again. You abandoned this connection, right? You walked away. 
but they caused this, right? And this divine masculine is realizing this, right? So it wasn't that you abandoned them because of, you know, just because they were, I don't know, whatever. It was because they caused this with their trickery and deceit, right? So they realize they are at fault here. They're taking full accountability is what I'm getting. They realize their behavior keeping these options open, these choices and trying to play in your face and have you in competition, in love triangles, child. They realize they caused it because now they know they had a divine feminine. They had, they had the empress. That's you, divine feminine. Yeah. Now they see it. It's all 2020, right? 2020 vision, clarity, right? What I just say, tapped in. We got the high priestess showing up. That's confirmation. This divine masculine is definitely tapped into their higher self, their higher frequency, right? Their soul recognizes you now as their divine counterpart. Their soul didn't recognize you before, divine feminine. Mm mm. Because they were only looking at things from a superficial level, not the supernatural level. They weren't looking at things from the soul level, right? Mm -mm. and that caused the separation so now they realize that it's not it wasn't you know oh that people were just abandoning them or they couldn't put their faith in people they realize at least with you they had all the unconditional love the loyalty right the pure love with you your love was real it was true they fumbled it with their insecurity. So this divine masculine had to deal with that because I feel like this divine masculine may have, for some of you guys, been accusing you of other people or something like that. Yeah, that wasn't true. Like a lot of outlandish accusations is what I'm getting, right? This divine masculine was just coming out of the blue to the point you were starting to think, okay, this divine masculine may be a bit unhinged at this point. Mm-hmm. But no, it was insecurity and they were so insecure. It was making them insanely jealous is what I'm getting. So I feel like for some of you guys, this person was definitely acting out just very, very jealous. Mm -hmm. Accusing you of things, right? Yeah. But now they regret that they weren't able to control those emotions. And that's what I was saying. There was like a lack of emotional maturity and emotional intelligence with this person right and spiritual maturity and spiritual intelligence but i'm picking up that things have come full circle this person has awakened right they're definitely tapped in because i'm seeing here we do have the high priestess card showing oh thank you spirit so see they were in their head insecure so heavily in their head that they blocked the four of wands so they block this connection with you divine feminine they were the one that blocked this they were the one that self-sabotaged this you guys were on your mission you were on track right for unconditional love you guys found each other here in this lifetime right and you were on your mission right twin flame energy for sure y'all and this divine masculine, it would this love tapped into those core wounds, those insecurities, those abandonment issues. And when this divine masculine, the moment this divine masculine fell in love with you, they lost it. I'm telling y'all, I'm look, I hear somebody saying, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Yeah. Wow. I'm seeing you guys coming back into balance. You guys are coming back into balance is what I'm seeing here. Back into alignment. Mm. Yeah, there's a magnetic pull. You guys are magnetically being drawn back to one another. Angelic protection over this union. The angels are protecting this union. This union is definitely protected. Spirit guides. This is being protected, right? 
Yeah. But I feel like things were so all over the place. It's like there's a fear of another tower moment after what took place. Confirmation, right? <sighs> This person would never break your heart. I feel like this person definitely wants this new cycle with you. They want to start a new cycle and they want to show you that they can love you the right way. They realize that they fumbled so bad and they realize it was immaturity and they realize they had to deal with those core issues. Their soul now recognizes your soul, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So I'm seeing here Pisces energy on the board, right? There's a lot of hidden emotions. And I feel like this divine masculine wasn't being emotionally available to you, right? So it was like, I feel like initially, but then they pulled back and you felt that, right? This divine masculine pulled back. Things were going good. And then they pulled back their energy from you, right? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And they weren't completely vulnerable, but they are deeply in love with you, Divine Feminine. Look, but they're afraid. They're afraid that, see, and that's what's good. They're worried that this separation is final. They regret how they acted. This person is falling apart behind the scenes is what I'm getting. After you walked away, after you left, this Divine Masculine is worried that they will never have another chance with you. Mm. What I tell y'all, still manifesting you. They realize you have everything that they want and need. Everything that they ever wanted, everything they ever needed. Child, they're willing to do anything to get back on the right track with you. There's a lot of anxiety I'm getting. A lot of anxiety, worried about the future, right? Worried about what's going to happen. If you guys will ever have another chance, because they realize they acted so childish, so foolish. And like I said, I feel like they're like, we're accusing you, making false accusations, right? Like accusing you of people. They became very insanely jealous. That's when they fell in love. But I'm seeing here, there's a shift with this person. Mm hmm. Scorpio energy showing up on the board here, right? So this is definitely the death. The death card is giving that energy of something coming to an end. But when something comes to an end, when there's there's transformation, a new beginning is happening, right? And this divine masculine has definitely there's a transformation here, a change with them, and they're definitely detaching from the past and these past ways that they had the jealousy i'm getting the just being attached to that low vibrational energy is what i'm getting yeah they want to take action to come back towards you look at that we got the page of wands and the knight of wands together for their privileged lady yeah you are their privileged lady. You're their wish fulfillment. Look at this, a divine connection. You guys being divinely guided back together. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, there's the victory there. Y'all, let me pull a few of these. Um, I'm going to pull some oracle cards here and take a closer look at what's going on here. Because this divine masculine was definitely conflicted in the past, but I am seeing that... They do want that happily ever after with you. They want that new beginning. I'm seeing balance, but I'm also seeing um, you being the empress as well. But I'm seeing, you know, this divine masculine definitely getting the courage up, right? Because they know that they messed up. They know that you're in that queen of swords energy with them. And I feel like trust is definitely an issue. Trust has been broken with this connection. And they want to figure out how to rebuild that because they want you to know that it's safe. It's safe to love them again. Yeah. They realize that they made a huge, huge, huge mistake here, right? Yeah. Wow. Let's go ahead. I want to pull some of these Oracle cards here and see what we get. 
Spirit, please give us more for the collective. This is, a, I'm getting some twin flame energy here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, ciao. Okay. I'm seeing a karmic lesson. So this was absolutely a lesson. Because this divine masculine acted so foolish with you too, right? You were their wish fulfillment. This divine masculine ended up and like I said, with all of those options, they ended up in this karmic cycle, but I'm getting that they definitely severed ties with that because they tapped into their higher self and they were able to see clearly where the issue was. And they realized that they needed to do introspection, some inner work on themselves, right? With regards to these insecurities and these deep wounds, but look, a karmic lesson in realizing that you are enough. You are everything that they wanted and needed, right? Ah, oh, relax, ghosting. That ghosting that they did. See, these are all of the things that caused you not to trust them, that broke the trust. But I'm seeing ghosting you is processing for them. So this person has definitely been by themselves, right? doing the introspection, doing the inner work, but I'm seeing your love is truly meant to be the promise. Twin flame energy. Look at that. The universe coming together. What else we got here? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. What else do we need to know? What is the current energy? What's ahead for this connection? Spirit, please give us more. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us more for the collective. Ciao. This person really had a lot of things to sort through, right? Yeah, and I'm picking up on that isolation. Mm-hmm. Oh. You could be seeing angel number 555. I'm seeing prepare for a change. Prepare for a change. Divine Feminine, this person's going to be taking a leap of faith to come towards you. They're going to, I'm picking up on a pop-up visit, and I'm seeing forgive and release the past. Okay, so free will is at play here, Divine Feminine, but I'm, I'm seeing forgive and release the past. Mm-hmm. What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Oh, what else we got here? Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Not rumors, not what you're hearing. None of that. And releasing the past and follow your heart. Ooh. Mm. This person really cut up with you, Divine Feminine. But I'm seeing here, this person is deeply in love with you. In deep regret, right? How they acted, how they treated you. What else we got, Spirit? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Spirit. Focus on unconditional love and the mission. Yeah, let it flow. Just let it flow. I'm seeing it's safe to love this person, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Miracles ahead. Communication is coming. I told y'all, get ready. Get ready. Yup. Pop-up visit. This person's going to be taking a leap of faith. Communication is coming. Uh-huh. Miracles are ahead. Miracles are coming. Yeah, what else we got? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Oh, what is that? Hmm, what is that? Don't give up on this connection. Wow, because I feel like Divine Feminine, the way this person acted, you're like, you know what? I'm good. I'm cool off of you, right? Yeah, I feel like they really acted out, right? But I feel like you still have feelings for them. What did I just tell y'all? Look, I told y'all taking a leap of faith coming towards you, this divine masculine, for a new start, a new beginning. Chow, your journey is protected. I told y'all. Look at this. Confirmation coming out. 
angels protecting this connection. This is a very protected connection. This is a divine connection. You are safe. You are safe to love this person. Ciao. What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Ooh. What else? What else? What else? Strength. See there? There's that Leo energy. Somebody is a Leo, too. Or somebody has a Leo in their chart. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. Yeah, power. I'm seeing that portal opening up, too. You could be seeing that 888. Mm-hmm. Warrior of love and strength. Come through. I'm seeing a new day. Mm-hmm. Y'all, trust the universe. Two, two, two. Look at that. You guys are being guided back together, right? Yeah, you guys are definitely being guided back together. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more for the collective. Ooh. Surrender, divine feminine, surrender to your feelings, surrender to the love. Oh, okay. What else we got? Oh, this person has gained the deep knowledge and understanding of your connection, the bond that you share. Eagle eye view is what I'm getting, but a lot of wisdom, right? Tapped into their higher self. There's been a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more. Yeah. Ooh. Well, there we go. Reunion, reconciling, coming back together. You guys, I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.